What's up, what's up, party people? I am back with another plant-based quickie. Joyce Fit Life plant-based quickie. Today, I'm gonna make taco salad. And when I say it's quick, it's quick because your girl is not even using crumbled meat. I'm using patties, you see that? It's spicy black bean patties by Morningstar Farm. Um, <laughs> It's because it, it's the right flavor. It's the right texture. It has the right seasoning. I add a little bit of seasoning, but it's already spicy. So it already has a like a, a little bit of a taco seasoned taste. Even though we're going to add a little bit more season, you really don't have to. That's just what I like to do. So first, I'm going to just take one patty out. Well, i got to put oil in a pan first. Grapeseed oil. Whatever oil you like, but I like grapeseed. Just a... You know, maybe I should turn the pan on. Maybe, that, maybe I should turn the pan on. <laughs> so let's pour the oil in here just a little bit. Not that much. Just a little bit. And we're just going to take out one patty. Now, there's times I've used a patty and a half, depending on what I'm making. But we just need one patty for this taco salad. This taco salad is mm -hmm, good. Just let that put it on low heat, not too high. Now these, this uh, the patties I have, I actually thaw them out first. But if they're not thawed out, put it on low, low, low heat so it can cook slowly. But these are thawed out already, so all you have to do is just start crushing it up, just like that. You know what? I need to cut up some onion. Wait one second. believe that I almost forgot the onion like for real I didn't even have it out like no we're not doing this without onion now, I just cut up purple onion you can use whatever onion you like or if you don't like onion you don't have to put onions in here but all I'm doing is just just chopping it up mixing it up just like just like if you were using turkey like ground meat even the, the like plant-based crumbles the meatless crumbles same thing I'm just mixing it up just like this and just crumbling all together now these this burger patty is spicy black bean so it also has a little bit of black bean in it too so it's just perfect for a quickie to me it's perfect i don't have to add much at all all right the only thing i'm gonna sprinkle in here i'm gonna put a little bit of just a little bit of um which one is this garlic powder of course onion powder and to top it off, a little bit of taco seasoning. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, I used to have like a bottle of taco seasoning. I can't find it. Oh, but I do have something really, really good that's going really, really good. I, I thought it was gonna be good. That's gonna really, really good. What? Anyway, um, yeah, I have something that's gonna really set this off. Now, I'll put a little bit of taco seasoning. Now, when you put that little bit of taco seasoning from the pack like that, add a, just a splash, not even a splash, but a dab of water, just a dab. I'm gonna talk about my burnt up kettle. All right, just a dab, just a, just a splash of water, just to soak up the taco seasoning into the, the meat and the onions, all right? Now for the most part, it's pretty seasoned. It's pretty seasoned. But there's one more thing <laughs> for me that really sets it off. Wait for it. Chili and lime. OMG seasoning. Now, to me it was new. Might not be new to y'all, but it's new to me. When I saw it, actually my friend gave it to me. I was like, whoo, where you get that from? Anyway, just a little bit because it's very, not strong, but it's very, it's a little intense, but it's really, really good. So a little bit of that, just mix it up. Now, you can add your own seasoning or you don't have to add any at all because it's already very flavorful as a patty. But I just like to add a little bit because I'm going to be building a salad. So there's going to be other things going on, which will blend in really well with the seasoning of the meat. And 
it doesn't take much to cook. It doesn't take that long, of course. So I'm gonna put it on low, super low, just to really kind of keep it warm and keep them blended. And while that's on low, I'm gonna cut up tomato.
This is very filling and very quick, of course. juice of a little bit of lime yes okay now to top it off first of all let's just check this out let's just check it out look at that looks beautiful right looks delicious but there's one more thing we need to add one more thing we need to add and that is these Santa Fe style tortilla strips. Another thing, you can't have this taco salad without some tortilla strips. Now, if you don't want them, you don't have to use them. If you wanna take up, take some tortilla chips and just crush them and put them in here, you can. Or you don't have to have any. But I love the Santa Fe tortilla strips, all right? They're already in little strips. You don't have to worry about crushing them up. See? Just sprinkle a little bit of those on top. And boom. There you have it. Plant-based quickie taco salad. Let's get another glimpse. Now for the big taste. Yum. There's a lot of things on here that you might not like. Just make it your own. Just make it your own. However you like your tacos, that's how you can make it. Now, the only thing that's missing from this taco salad is cheese. Cheese is missing, but that's okay. I like it with cheese or without. So either way is great. Mm-hmm. Taco in a bowl. Bomb, bomb, bomb. You're gonna be good and full. You won't need nothing else. It was quick, plant-based, delicious. I'm gonna go eat this. I'll see y'all later.